Good morning everyone, I'm back. So um, I am doing a little test piece. This is a 20 by 20 little canvas and um, I'm going to do some really beautiful colors. This is uh, all mixed. There's nothing that's straight out of the uh, the old can. So um, this is all uh, Winter and Newton Galeria. It's phalo blue and green with titanium white for the turquoises then I have red ochre red ochre with a little bit of Naples yellow for the terracotta colors then I have a background colors that is titanium white with Naples yellow and titanium white with titanium buff that's a lot of colors <laughs> but I was mixing them so what I want to do is I want to do a bigger one 50 centimeters but I want to test the colors out first because, well, you know, I'm not sure if they're really going to be that good together. I'm thinking yes, but we'll, we'll see. So what I have is four little cups, medicine cups, and I'm going to do a four cup flip. Four cup tiny little flip. So get that out of the way. And you see I have my old bathrobe on. I cut off one sleeve and the other one I still have on. But, oh well. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Now we're going to start with the background color. So I'm going to add that to the cups. And that's going to be the first layer of color. And... I'm going to do them pretty much the same, the same uh, colors. So we're going to do, this is a nice sandy color. I thought it would go really well with the terracottas and with the turquoises. There it goes. Then I want to come in with a nice turquoisey blue. And I'm pouring that up from a little bit high so it sort of goes straight through the layers that I already have. That's one. And that's one. Then I'm going for the lighter turquoise. I didn't make much of this one. So I'll have to, if this works out, I'll have to mix a little bit more. Yep, and one's a little bit up higher. There you go. Then I have the darker turquoise. This is a really nice dark turquoise. It has a little bit of more green in it to make it just a little bit different color, which I sort of like. Not too much of that. There we go. Then I'm going to, from up high, I'm going to pour in the terracotta colors. Yeah, that went straight through. That's good. That one went straight through. That one's going straight through. And that one goes straight through. And then I'm going to take the darker terracotta and finish it off. Really high, that it goes straight through all, everything. I really like that and it sort of mixes all by itself okay so we have our four little cups with all the colors now I'm gonna take the canvas and we're gonna do a quick flip I'm not sure if I can still do that oh well yeah <laughs> because I haven't painted for a really long time. These flip cups, just sort of whack them on there. Then we're going to place them a little differently because I'd like to have them square like that. Oh, that one's a little off. That's about it. That'll do. And then I'm going to come in with my background color. Okie dokie. This is how I used to do those big 40 by 40s where I filled the uh, canvas like this 
Then we add a little bit of negative space, and I'm seeing that my paint is a little on the thick side. When you don't mix paint for a really long time, you're sort of off just a little bit. Let's see if this works a little bit better. Yeah, that'll work. And put it all around. And a little bit more down here. That's enough. I hope. Okay, I have my torch. Ooh, that's looking okay. That's looking okay. And that's looking okay. Now I want to torch it for the first couple of things that pop up. Just a tiny bit because I want those colors to come up a little bit. And I should have had a corner catcher thingy. That looks kind of nice, doesn't it? Already. Yeah, but we'll have to let it go over the side. Has to go over the side, people. There's a nice, nice, nice big cells. And this one has to go down. Come on. Those are nice cells. Look how big they are. That is really pretty. Now I don't want to disrupt the corner because I kind of like the corner. Yeah, I like it. Just have to get something to... Uh, clean my hands a little bit and then we're gonna give it another little go to get those little cells out there it is now I have these really nice little cells oh I'd like some there too there they go a little bit down there now we have the best of both worlds. We have the really big cells, we have the little tiny ones down here. So I think that's uh, that's kind of what I was looking for. Now I do, do want to do something uh, to these uh, the big terracotta bits. And of course I had my, oops, oops, open up. I think of yeah I have this really beautiful glitter that is the same color as the terracotta is and uh, I'm just gonna put a little bit on the terracotta parts just taking it between my fingers and sort of putting that on Oops, that's a little bit too much, but we'll see how far we get. Just in the, in the terracotta bit, because I think that color is a little flat. A little bit down here. Ooh, that looks really cool. You can't see it, I'm sure, but... Once it's dry, I'll show it in the light and you'll see how much it bounces off. There it goes. That's it. Now, that's a good experiment. I really love these cells down here. This is sort of like lacing. Lacing on top and here you have a whole bunch of really nice little cells with really light blue in the middle. That is really cool. I'll give you a close up and um, then I'll clean this up and we'll be ready for tomorrow when I make a bigger one. Thanks all for watching. Love you all to pieces. Bye bye. 
That is really, really pretty. I And I really like this corner here. This is really pretty too. And can you see the little bits of uh, glitter I put on the uh, terracotta colors? That's really nice. Okay, guys. See you later.